As India battles the second wave of COVID-19, there is a high surge of new infections. This led to a big spike in demand for oxygen concentrators and oxygen cylinders. In this video, I am going to explain what is an oxygen concentrator, how it works, what are the types of oxygen concentrators, and what are the main things you should keep in mind while buying one. Please make sure you watch the entire video because at the end of the video, I will be comparing an oxygen concentrator with an oxygen cylinder. And I will tell you why an oxygen concentrator is not a replacement for an oxygen cylinder. As there is a lot of demand right now for oxygen concentrator, I will also guide you on how to manage without an oxygen concentrator if you are not able to get one. What is an oxygen concentrator? An oxygen concentrator is a machine that filters oxygen from the surrounding air and helps individuals to breathe pure oxygen. The atmospheric air around us consists of about 21% of oxygen and 78% of nitrogen and other gases. The oxygen concentrator basically sucks the air around you, removes the nitrogen and delivers 90-95% of pure oxygen. An oxygen concentrator should always be kept away from the wall and should always be used in a well-ventilated room by keeping the windows open, as the exhaust nitrogen should go out of the room. The oxygen concentrators and oxygen cylinders serve the same purpose, providing pure oxygen. The main difference is oxygen cylinders need refilling. While the oxygen concentrators does not need refilling and can provide oxygen 24 by 7 using electricity. There are basically two types, portable and stationary or home units. The portable types are generally small in size and run on battery, while the home units are comparatively big and run on plug point. The portable ones can be more costly than the home units due to their portability. It is always recommended to buy home units for COVID patients as the home units have a better oxygen flow than the portable ones. You have to look for basically three main things while buying. The first thing you should be looking for is flow. You need only continuous flow machine. There is also another type which is a pulse flow machine which does not provide a continuous oxygen flow. This is not recommended for COVID patients. So only buy the continuous flow machine. The second thing you should be looking for is OPI meaning oxygen purity index. The OPI should always be above 87% which means the machine is capable of providing oxygen which is above 87% pure. Anything below 87% OPI is useless. The third thing you should be looking for is capacity. The capacity options will be available from 1 LPM to 10 LPM. LPM means liters per minute. The one with 5 LPM or above will be mostly sufficient. It's always recommended to consult your doctor before you buy one because depending upon the condition of the patient, different capacities needed. I also made another video in which I explain how much LPM should be maintained at different stages. It will give you a complete idea. I will leave a link down below the video in video description, so please check it out. Experts say that oxygen concentrator is good enough for mild and moderate patients with SpO2 reading between 90 to 95. If the SpO2 reading is above 95, you don't need one. If the SpO2 is below 90, the oxygen supplied by the oxygen concentrator may not be enough. At this stage, it is always recommended that the patient should be switched to an oxygen cylinder as the oxygen cylinder can give more pure oxygen which is 99% than the oxygen concentrator which can only give up to 95% pure oxygen. At this stage, SpO2 reading below 90, it is always recommended to get hospitalized with oxygen cylinder support. Oxygen concentrator can be used for mild to moderately ill patients with an oxygen requirement of 5 to 10 liters per minute. On the other side, oxygen cylinder is used for moderately to critically ill COVID patients. Oxygen concentrator does not need refilling, while the oxygen cylinder needs refilling. But the oxygen concentrator needs a continuous electricity supply to provide oxygen. On the other hand, oxygen cylinder does not require electricity. The price of the oxygen concentrator will be from 40,000 and can range up to 1.5 lakhs. On the other hand, the oxygen cylinder can be available from 8,000 to 20,000 rupees only. The oxygen concentrator had two main steps of maintenance. A simple filter which can be removed and washed every two weeks and a zeolite candle can be replaced every two years. This is the candle that traps the nitrogen and filters the oxygen from the nitrogen. While on the other hand, oxygen cylinder need to be refilled regularly. Due to the current situation of high demand of oxygen, 
there are a lot of cheap quality Chinese oxygen concentrator machines in the market which are completely useless and they are not capable of producing pure oxygen or the amount of oxygen that is needed which makes them completely useless. I advise please do not waste your hard end money on these completely useless cheap quality Chinese machines. It is always recommended to look for good branded machines. And please do not do panic buying. This not only increases the price of the machines but also makes the machines not available for the persons who really need it. If you are not able to get one, don't worry. Please watch my previous video where I explained all the steps and medications you need to follow to increase the breathing. I will leave a link down below the video in the video description. So please check it out. Thank you for watching guys. Hope this video helps. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up by hitting the like button down below the video. There are more awesome videos that are coming up. So get subscribed to not miss any. That's pretty much it. See you in the next one. Till then, stay home, stay safe.